Hello all you coin aficionados out there and welcome to another version of what is that coin. And this coin came to us and it just sat with a bunch of, um, you know, tokens and other stuff because we knew it wasn't a coin. It's incredibly light. It probably weighs uh, less than a gram. It is, um, it's kind of big, bigger, I guess. This is an Isle of Man penny that it's on that's on top of it so it's probably about as big as a u.s nickel maybe somewhere in that range um smaller than a a, a british uh 10 pence coin i believe uh and if we blow it up we see these really funny things on it so let's take a look so we look at it and we see that it says gmt at the top with an arrow an arrow here for rome GMT, which usually stands for Greenwich Mean Time. Over here it says New York, and there's an arrow. Over here it says Tokyo, down at the lower left. And right here it says IDLW1E1. And right above that, we see that it says 2000. So we start to look at it, and we're going, well, oh, and then we look right in the center, and it says half crown. So this is a coin, apparently. So we look at it and we go, on, geez, I'd never seen this half crown coin. Not sure where it could be from. Well, let's take a look at the edges. And it's a just a regular uh, edge, smooth edge. And there's the queen on the back. But we don't see any. Um, and it, it's, it's, it's really kind of shiny. Uh, we don't see any. Um, date or anything on or any name this is of course the queen in the ian um rank broadly portrait um wearing the girls of great britain and ireland tiara facing to the right and we look here and we see these really weird kind of lines and let's, let's take a look at those lines so it's not really the edge of the coin it's almost like i don't know it's almost like um maybe the coin wasn't pressed right or something we see that weird kind of edge, but we don't see it on the other side. So I look it up, and I put in um, on Google, I put in uh, Numista, because that's the website we use a lot. And I say, one half crown. And I believe that down here, this is the year 2000. So I put in Numista, one half crown, 2000. And you know what it comes up with? It comes up with this just beautiful coin, which is a coin from the Isle of Man from the year 2000. And we look at it and we see that this is a, and I'm just showing you a, actually a screenshot right now. That's the coin. So see in the very center of it, it says half crown. So the center of it is what we have here. The outside is gold and it goes from zero to 24. So it's actually not just a timepiece, and you see the top, it says midnight on it. And again, this is straight from the Namista website. Down at the bottom, we see down here it says noon, and up here it says midnight, and then the hours just go right around the outside. So I'm going, okay, we found the coin, but it isn't the same coin, because this, this is only the center of that coin. And so if you look on the Numista website, you'll see that the Isle of Man, in the year 2000, put out a non-circulating coin, essentially a commemorative edition coin, and they made 10,000 copies of it, and that coin was bimetallic. It had a titanium inner ring, which makes sense because this is incredibly light, and it had a gold outer rim. It weighed 9 grams, was 32.35 millimeters in diameter and it was round so what they did was somebody did was they took this and you might actually be able to see this it looks almost like this got heated at some point in time doesn't it right in here and right in there so there's a little bit of discoloration as if this titanium got heated and i think that's exactly what happened i think they took and melted the gold ring right off the outside of this coin and the gold was probably about nine, nine and a half, I mean, eight, eight and a half grams worth of gold, which at $40 uh, a gram made it worth about 
say $300, maybe a little over $300 worth of gold just in the coin alone. And they just threw this rest of it back in the bin. And um, it, it came to us with a bunch of kind of junk coins. So is it worth anything? No, nah, the titanium in here is worth very, very little. Uh, scrap titanium is going for whatever, 6 to $10 a pound. Uh, this is kind of a fun coin. It's kind of a fun collectible. But it the coin itself is selling on eBay for about six or seven hundred dollars if it had the gold around it. So whoever took the gold and melted it off got maybe three hundred dollars worth of gold. And on eBay, if they'd kept the coin, they could have sold it for six or seven hundred dollars. So it's kind of a weird, strange move uh, to melt the gold off of it. But that's what we have here: the Isle of Man half crown from the year two thousand a non-circulating commemorative coin. They made 10,000 of these, and we've got most of this one except for the valuable part. All right, that's all we have today from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Uh, we'd love to have you subscribe to our channel, and if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section.